Well, happy Friday, brothers and sisters. I'm thankful you've joined me for today's podcast or video devotion for our Bible reading plan. We are in Proverbs chapter 11, and I ask you to go ahead and be opening your Bible there. But before I get to the devotion, I think it's appropriate we take a moment to just remember and pray because tomorrow is uh, September 11, and it's the 20-year anniversary of the terrorist attacks on our country, 9-11-2001. And I know if you are an adult like me, you remember that day vividly, where you were and uh, what was happening. And I remember being at the office that morning and and learning about the the, the first plane uh, that hit the, the towers in New York and actually going home so I could watch some of the news on television and then came back and and after collecting my thoughts, got on the phone, started talking to pastors in our city and uh, different media outlets, and we organized a community prayer service that evening on, on 9-11 in our sanctuary downtown. And it was packed to capacity. And we spent uh, an hour or so just just uh, praying. Um, those are some of my memories of that day, but... Um, I know it's going to be a hard day for some people, for those who lost loved ones, those maybe uh, associated with first responders in New York City and in Washington, D.C., and even in Pennsylvania, too, where that one plane crashed in the field, but especially for the families um, who lost loved ones that day. So let's pray, and then we'll get to our devotion. Father, we thank you that in the midst of this uh, world that, that is so full of sin and evil and hate, Uh, And even in our own country, God, where we still experience those things, we thank you for your hand of blessing and grace, and we thank you that we live in a country where, even though it's not perfect, far from it, it is so good, and there is so much peace and so much beauty and so much freedom. We don't worry about the Taliban. We don't worry about um, an Islamic government forbidding us to read the Bible or go to church or witness for Jesus. We thank you for the freedoms we enjoy in this country, Father. And we thank you for the men and women who've been part of our military in the past and even today that uh, enable us to remain free. But all of us also, Father, remember that day 20 years ago, and we pray for our country today. Let it be a day when people not only remember but reflect and think about what really matters. That um, we realize we are in a great country, not a, not a perfect one, but a, but a great country, God. And let, let, let more people um, grow in their appreciation for these blessings instead of thinking this is just a horrible place to live. It's not. It's a good place to live. Give wisdom to our leaders. God, it seems with every passing decade, our leaders become less wise and less concerned about the people. Raise up new leaders, God, godly ones. We pray for the families who are going to be hurting emotionally, those those adults who were kids 20 years ago and their dad or their mom died. Be their peace and be their strength. Meet every need. Help us, Father, to make this country a better place to live by how we live. Help us to grow your kingdom by sharing Jesus and being disciples who are authentic and who are obedient and who are godly. We love you, Father, and whatever comes, we're going to continue loving and serving you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right. Real quickly, just a a few things here in um, Proverbs chapter 11 I want to point out to you. And the first one is found in verse 1. He says, A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is... Is his delight? It's the the idea of scales, and when when you know people would pay, whether it was in gold or silver, and you weigh it out to get to work, that you want you you want the scales to be honest, not not be you know corrupt. Um, and what he's talking about is when it comes to business, your business practices, uh, your business dealings, be honest. 
Um, if you're a contractor, if you're a salesman, be honest. Don't claim to follow Jesus and cheat people. That's what he says. Um, recently, I watched a two-hour documentary about Alice Cooper, the, you know, the rock and roll singer, and then follow that by watching a part of an interview he did with Dan Rather. And one of the things that caught my attention, of course, you know, Cooper battled for years addiction to alcohol. He got over that. Then he got addicted to, to, uh, to um, cocaine and other drugs and uh, got over that. Um, his, his dad is, was, is a minister. Um, and he got right with God and got delivered from all of that and his marriage. Is but one of the things he said, he's had the same manager for decades from the very beginning. And they're best friends. And he said, we've never had a contract. Think about that. I mean, you hear of managers and actresses and actors and musicians and so on suing each other all the time. He said, we've never had a contract. And it's been the same manager for 50 years. Um, because in the beginning, he said to me, do you want to end up in court? And I said, no. And I said, do you want to end up in court? And he said, no, we, we just want to be honest with each other. Wow. Well, that's what God says here in Proverbs chapter 11, verse, verse 1. Another thing uh, is in verse 11, the first part of the verse, where he says, By the blessing of the upright, a city is exalted. And the city of Rock Hill, the country of America, needs to be blessed by us, those of us who follow Christ and, and love Christ. And we can do that um, by we, we can be a blessing. We don't need to be a, a hindrance or a hurt. As a Christian, be honest in your business dealings. Be honest in your interactions with people. You bless this city. Be, be a blessing in how you talk. Don't, don't be the boisterous folly of foolishness that jumps in with the culture and just makes things worse. Be different and be a blessing to this country. Uh, America needs us. And then the last one, I just got to point out because of my last name, okay, Steve Hogg. Verse 22, as a ring of gold in a swine's snout, so is a beautiful woman who lacks discretion. <laughs> as, a, as, a, um, as a ring of gold, okay, a beautiful ring of gold in the, in the snout of a pig, of a hog, he said, that's what it's like when you see a beautiful woman and she doesn't have discretion, doesn't have taste, doesn't have good sense. Do with that what you will. Um, but there's something to be said for women having class and how they, how they dress, how they talk, how they act, how they treat people, how they live. I think that's a way to be a blessing to this country. Um, yeah, class. It's not something we talk about, and, 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 and some in our culture will even get angry with me for saying that. But, you know, God's people should be classy people. It blesses this country. Hey, um, God bless you. God bless America. I'll see you Sunday in worship, and I'll see you Monday with the next devotion.